So, um, step two, you know, you gotta find out how do you want to break it down to them. Think about where do you live? Like, do you live, like, out in the suburbs? Do you live in the city? Do you live, at, like, in the rural areas? Yeah, a lot of country people are really gay. <laughs> <laughs> so you would find out, you know, like, uh, doesn't, this part shouldn't matter too much, you know, whether or not you would live in these areas. So, like, think about it. Do you live near any attractions, any restaurants or anything? Do you, do you want to break it down to them in any uh, area or restaurant or anything? If you don't, then invite them to your house. Don't do it over text. It sounds shallow. <laughs> invite to my house. Uh, over here I have, um, we're cooking. We're all talking about our relationship, yeah? This one's poison, so you must eat this, and this one's mine, so it's not poison, okay? So let's talk it out. <laughs> or you don't bring it to your house, in case. Um, bring it to, I don't know, meet up at the park, meet up at the, meet up at a street, That's I don't a bad know. Idea. That's a street, yeah. Meet me at 28th <laughs> Drive by. <laughs> Step three. You found out where you want to, where you want to break it down to. How do you break it down? Do you do it in an aggressive way, in a soft way, in a, in a like, I know a, you are. Yeah, really. So you you know you gotta find out. Are they like a mean spirited person? Are they like a nice person? Are they romantic? You know, what, what, uh, you'll know. You'll know. You'll, you'll know by you know who you're dating. Yeah. So mostly. if they're if they're if uh, let's see. So you want to break down to them saying, hey, oh, I'm like retarded. <laughs> what? Well, what happened? You're retarded. <laughs> um, I gotta break it down to you. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to say, but you're just gay. So write it down in <laughs> letters. He's retarded, but I can write letters. Dear Bob! My name's Bob! Shit! <laughs> Let's say you have a breeze, you know, you found out what the type of person is, how do you break it down with them. So if you go into tears, make sure you're not, or if you know you're gonna go into tears, walk away. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, gay people like to cry. Or just be like, you're a man. <laughs> if you know they're gonna cry, um, don't do it in public, do it somewhere more <laughs> private. Not do, not do it. I, I meant do the breakup. <laughs> do it in public. Look at everyone fucking my bitch. <laughs> you find the appropriate place, you know, like now that you thought about where to, um, you know, where not to break up and where to do it. Once you're done breaking up, wish them the best of luck. Um, tell them, you know. Good luck being gay. You won't survive. <laughs> so I was saying. <coughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Saying cough in his face. <laughs> Spread the virus. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, what? Okay. What did I say that? Are you good? Okay. He died, guys. Uh, he has cancer. <laughs> Ball cancers. Wait, what? We're joking, by the way, guys. If we break into random stuff, we're most likely joking. In fact, we're, we were choosing to talk about this topic, not really to help people. If we do, then. Think good? If you have, did my ideas, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, don't do his ideas. <laughs> We're just doing this to make ourselves laugh, to make me, maybe you guys laugh. So yeah, now we're going back in. Of course, don't shake their hands, you know, um, unless you know you establish for some reason you want to. I don't know. Um, Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's, you know, every person is different, so just do whatever you want specifically. So, uh, so if they say, can we still be friends? Uh, don't just avoid them all of a sudden. Like, try your best to like, I don't know, just once in a while, just ask them, you know, how's it going or something. And by the small chance that they say, hey, I have a crush on someone, help them out. You know, establish the fact that, hey, you're happy with how you are now. If you don't like the gay person at all, just be like, hey, you want to play online sometimes? That's how, that's how we, we could talk. Not personal, if you're embarrassed. Alright? Um, that's not how right. it works. So, does every, every gay person like gaming? I don't know what's wrong with this guy. So yeah, you can talk to them saying, hey, you know, we can talk sometime. Or um, if they need help on something, help them out. Like, establish the fact that you're happy with how you are with them now. You know, now that you broke up and stuff. So that way you don't end up hating each other, you know. And if you guys, um, to avoid making arguments by, I don't know, changing the topic. Like, changing the topic before anything happens. Don't change the topic when it's too late. Like, when they're starting to get onto <laughs> something. Like, change the topic, like, like, right when you're running out of things to say, I guess. Or you know that it's going to, you know... It's gonna start arguments, so you'd be like, "Oh, so you like apples and bananas?" <laughs> so start a conversation, but like, "So you heard about movie Logan, right?" Is that copyright? Uh, it's not copyright if all you do is just mention it. Oh, okay. Just make it sure, okay? <laughs> just, just be like, "So you like the movie Logan, right?" She's like, and she's smart, but like, you trying to hit the topic? Just, just stop texting. Be like, "I have cancer. I have to go." 
I'm gonna say, so now that you two guys broke up, you know, you established a happy with each other, you should be good. You know, life will be said. You might meet someone new. You might actually help them meet someone new or the opposite. And then you live life apart happy. And then that's it. Maybe you guys will eventually drift into silence because not every friendship will last forever. But uh, dreams don't come true. But um, go to Mars. Hope you die. <laughs>